in a cold and deliberate attempt to tarnish the good image of Nigeria amongst the international community, the Western press mounted an orchestrated campaign of vilification and calumny against this country for the steps it had taken in the interest of our national security and in exercise of our right as a sovereign state. This attitude, the prophet of doom syndrome, and the carryover of the colonialist divide and rule mentality of the Western press is not new to Nigeria. The country had been brutally subjected to a barrage of attacks, wicked lies, disinformation, and other types of callous blackmail while it was tackling with the problem of the tragic civil war of the late 1960s. I'm glad, though, that there is a silver lining in the clouds. I believe that the governments of the countries from which these unwholesome attacks have been launched on us do not share the views, nor have they been a party to the media's disgraceful role. It is gratifying to note that some of our overseas missions have already taken up the gauntlet with a view to correcting the wrong impressions about our country which sections of the Western media attempted to create in the minds of the unwary. It is commendable also that individual Nigerians have similarly contributed to debunk in the local press the wicked lies being spread against the country. Was there any preparation by the Nigerian government? Was there any understanding of what the scale of this exodus would be? And have there been any preparations on your part to take care of the people who were having to leave Nigeria at what was quite short notice? I can answer you in a nutshell. Uh, question of preparation, time, and so on. Uh, the fact is, the aliens departed Nigeria in less than 14 days. If you were to take into consideration the number of days which the Ghanaian government decided to keep its border open, perhaps they would have been out within a week. So um, the scale and so on is a matter which uh, was well considered. Thank you. Minister, with respect, you haven't answered the question. And I would like to repeat, was there any preparation at all by the Nigerian government, or was there any recognition of the scale of the exodus that was about to take place? We had an idea of the scale because we were very much concerned with the number of people. So we know a large number of people believe in Nigeria. There's no doubt whatsoever about that. Do you regret the fact that at least 10 people are known to have died during that exodus? Their death will have nothing, and I submit it to you, has nothing to do with the quit order. Death could happen at any given time. <laughs>